I've been here all my life, 39 years in the same house, so I take pride in the neighborhood, and I love it. And my grandmother's 89, so she's been here since she's been 10, on the same street. Oh yeah, these are like, we have so many stories from the olden days. Definitely hanging, definitely get, taking the bread outside was one of the, our favorites. We were getting the hot bread from A&L Bakery. We would smell it cooking, so we would come out. We could be sitting on our chairs all night, eat, we'd all eat the hot bread. And then we had Tony's Restaurant, which was here almost like 50 years. And back in the day, if you didn't finish your food, her husband would take your bra and hang it up on the wall. There was no menu, so you, you, when you went in, you knew what you were gonna get, either your raviolis, Everything was homemade, chicken cutlets, the shrimp scampi, and she always put a bottle of wine on your table. The community has changed a lot. Well, a lot of people have left. Like, a lot of people moved. They felt it's getting too congested, what enough to park, and so they want to find a house with a driveway. But when you're so used to the street, how can you leave? Because I love people, obviously. I love saying hi to everyone. They call me, I'm the mayor in the neighborhood, and I love talking to people keeping them updated, you know, what's going on in the neighborhood. I meet neighborhood meetings and we get so much feedback on Facebook. It is unbelievable. When I send a message out, like like two to three hundred people can get that one message instead of trying to get get everyone as they're coming home from work or walking by and they all get that message. And that's what I love about it. All my work is on Facebook, like weekly, probably almost like 25 hours, 30 hours because I keep up with so many people. Because I, I like to get things done. Oh, I think, I, I believe Facebook does wonders. I mean, because we can communicate with one another. And when we have, like, say, a cleanup, we, we had a cleanup last week. We did Sumner Street. We all corresponded through Facebook. And we had people, up to 10 people out here, and we cleaned Sumner Street. That was through Facebook. So I think the people who believe the Internet's doing us harm, I think it's doing us good. I say that about Facebook all the time. Facebook, even Twitter, because you get to communicate with your neighbors. You can make plans, you can do, you know, cleanups or get togethers in the neighborhood or the, tell them about a meeting, what's going on, or like a crime watch. I have almost 800 friends on Facebook. As long as you stick together, you know your neighbors, you know, and you get involved. That's the main thing, you have to get involved. You can't complain if you don't get involved.